Welcome. This video will show you how to set up a managed backup assist environment using Multisite Manager. Multisite Manager is a web-based tool. It enables remote management, monitoring, and reporting of your backup assist installations on the LAN or across the WAN. Setting up this managed environment is a top-down, three-step process. Step 1. Configure your Multisite Manager. Step 2. Nominate a Backup Assist computer at your remote site to be your site controller. We'll then configure it to link your multi-site manager. Step 3. Add any remaining Backup Assist installs to the site controller. Let's start off by showing you how easy it is to configure the multi-site manager to manage a site with two Backup Assist computers. In this demonstration, multi-site manager is installed on a virtual machine in Amazon EC2. After installation, you can launch Multisite Manager using the desktop shortcut. The first time you run Multisite Manager, you will be prompted to configure the settings, including your username and password. These credentials are used each time you log in to Multisite Manager. For security purposes, select HTTPS and select a certificate to allow for a secure connection to Multisite Manager. When you save your settings, your multi-site manager will be restarted. To ensure your multi-site manager can be connected from external site controllers and web clients, you will need to configure the applicable network and firewall settings. Here you can see the Amazon EC2 security settings allowing inbound traffic to the multi-site manager port 8465. We have now completed step one. The same implementation can be achieved using your own computer or virtualized environment, such as Microsoft Azure. Next, it's time to configure the site controller. The first step is to nominate a backup assist computer on each site, which can act as a site controller. In this case, we're setting up the site controller for your Sydney site. On the nominated site controller machine, launch backup assist. Select the Remote Setup option. Select Enable Remote Management. Select the role of Site Controller. Next, choose which multi-site manager to register the site controller with. Click on Multi-Site Manager Registrations. At the moment, the list is empty because we are yet to enter any multi-site manager data. To add to the list, click on Register with Multi-Site Manager. Enter your multi-site manager details. Select HTTPS. Label this site controller as Sydney. You can choose to ignore this security warning because we are using a self-signed digital certificate. The registration will now be in a pending registration state and will need to be approved by Multisite Manager. To approve the Sydney Site Controller registration, log in to your multi-site manager that you configured in Step 1. Select the highlighted Pending Registration tab to list the site controllers that are waiting for approval. Once approved, the Sydney Site Controller will now be available in your multi-site manager. You've now completed Step 2. This is how your setup will look if your site has one backup computer to manage. If you have more than one computer at this remote site, Step 3 shows you how to add them to your site controller. We're now going to add the SQL Server 3 computer to your site controller. On the SQL Server 3 machine, launch Backup Assist and open the Remote Setup dialog. Enable Remote Management. Select the role of Regular Backup Assist Computer. Click on the Site Controller Registration button. Click on Add to Site Controller. Enter the host name or IP address of the Site Controller. Label the machine SQL Server 3. You can now access SQL Server 3 as well as your Sydney site controller from your multi-site manager. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up a managed environment using multi-site manager.
Bye for now.